Parallel Chain is a new layer one protocol powered by Parallel BFT, a unique proof of stake consensus that employs an innovative multi-class validator design with a delegation mechanism to make the network more democratic and decentralized. My name is Rick Richardson and in this video I'm going to tell you all about it. Since its birth in 2018, Parallel Chain has been a permissioned blockchain platform that powers high performance enterprise grade applications with existing use cases in eKYC, tokenization, company data, security and supply chain management. And built from the ground up, Parallel Chain was designed for commercial and business adoption. Its unique features have enabled companies to leverage blockchain technology without compromising data privacy and the compliance of their business. And as the private Parallel Chain gained momentum, the team began to build the public network in early 2021. And the two combined will eventually lead to a scalable, secure and fully interoperable blockchain ecosystem for both business and DeFi users. The Parallel Chain team wants to revolutionize the blockchain space in three phases. These phases run from 2018 to beyond this year. And in the first phase, it was a high performance private blockchain platform with tested and proven speed of 120,000 transactions per second. And the platform also offers smart contract migrations from Hyperledger, consumer privacy, compliance, and much more. And in early 2021, the team began to build the public mainnet, which is an open source layer one blockchain designed to sustain an ever growing scalability and genuine decentralization with EVM compatibility and support for smart contracts. The final phase of the project is what the team calls inter-parallel chain communication, also known as IPC, a communication bridge between the private and public layers that will enable the two platforms and layer two applications to interoperate at protocol level. In their light paper, Parallel Chain has identified some major blockers in blockchain adoption in general. These are the constraints that they believe should be resolved first before blockchain can be adopted broadly. And the four major blockers are speed, legitimacy, confidentiality and compliance. And the blockchain must comply with the data protection regulations and provide infrastructure level mechanisms to ensure consumer data privacy and ownership. And being fast is also one of the things projects try to excel in when you compare them to others because they want to offer more than just a few thousand transactions per second. Cryptocurrency hasn't been recognized as a legal payment yet, with the exception of El Salvador at the time of this recording and others following, but it's still a major blocker before enterprises will move their businesses to the blockchain. Business data is confidential as well and privacy is non-negotiable for enterprises and they will never put their data into public networks. The Web3 ecosystem must be able to accommodate this difference. Parallel Chain Private is the permission blockchain platform built from the ground up, like said before, to solve these blockers by being fast, business native and compliance friendly. As said before, it is able to process 120,000 transactions per second with consistent performance even when scaled and already having been adopted by fintech companies and government sectors. The private parallel chain is also a technology part of IBM, AWS and many others. And last but not least, it's the only blockchain today that is compatible with data privacy principles like the EU GDPR and all of these can be read in the light paper as well, which I'll link down below. The main use case consists of four major elements and these are NFTs, games, dex trading and the metaverse. Now most of you already know what NFTs, games and dex trading is but the metaverse is still pretty new so let me quickly run you through it. The metaverse is a portmanteau combining the prefix meta and the word universe and is generally used to describe a virtual universe accessed by virtual reality. Now in recent years, virtual reality has made its way from massive bulky headsets tethered to your PC to standalone devices and now goggles. And as the lenses and screens improve, so does the vision of the road ahead. Facebook's pivot into the metaverse is a power play that leverages their earlier investment in Oculus. But as with the iPhone, it's the artist app developers and content creators that were best positioned to take advantage of the new economies that these new devices enabled. So the technologies that make up the metaverse can include virtual reality, characterized by persistent virtual worlds that continue to exist even when you're not playing, as well as augmented reality that combines aspects of the digital and physical worlds. However, it doesn't require that those spaces be exclusively accessed via VR or AR. A virtual world like aspects of Fortnite that can be accessed through PCs, game consoles and even phones 
could be made a virtual as well. And with protocol level interoperability between the public and private networks, Parallel Chain enables value transfer between the physical world and the metaverse facilitated by the Parallel Wallet. And with WASM and EVM compatibility, users can mint, list and trade NFTs in different blockchain networks on Parallel Chain. And for gamers, Parallel Chain offers developers an advanced smart contract platform to create high performance games. Parallel Chain also uses optimistic rollups to achieve high scalability at infrastructure levels to power competitive DEX platforms with high transaction speeds and low fees. So they are represented and offering solutions in the four most popular things in blockchain ecosystem. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. So let's take a small break to thank our sponsor. My friends over at SolarDAO have asked me to create this video for them after six successfully closing a private round with Parallel Chain. I'll link their Discord and Telegram down below so you can have a look and enter future private sales yourself. Also, please keep in mind that I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are only meant to be educational and entertaining only. If you'd like to talk more about crypto, feel free to join my community by clicking the Telegram link down below. For now, let's continue with the wallet. So what is Parallel Wallet? It's a three biometric crypto wallet that's scheduled to launch an open beta version in the first quarter of this year and integration with Parallel Main Chat in the second quarter. Unlike passwords that can be taken from you with key loggers, for instance, biological characteristics are unique to each person and cannot be forgotten. The AI-powered biometric recognition technology of Parallel Chain combines anti-spoofing facial recognition, voice recognition, and palm recognition. And this enables for a faster password-free authentication with stronger security. And the great thing about this is that you don't need sophisticated equipment, but a regular smartphone device will be enough. This makes it very accessible for everyone. Unfortunately, I can't show you the demo right now, but follow their socials to stay up to date on the latest developments regarding their wallet and their progress. The token of Parallel Chain is called XPLL and it's a utility token with an initial supply of 250 million and is inflationary. The team and advisors take up a total of 14% and you know I always look for that, together with the vesting schedule to determine whether or not if a team is in it for the long run. And in this case, the team has a vesting schedule in which they get nothing at token launch, have a six month waiting period and then get their tokens over the course of 36 months. For the advisors, it's 5% of token generation with a three month lockup and a 12 month vesting period in which they get the remainder of the tokens. Nothing spectacular there. These are pretty much normal numbers we see somewhat similar in other projects. The board of directors of Parallel Chain consists of four people with Ian Huang being the CEO and founder of Parallel Chain Lab. The management consists of five people. They have seven advisors and four technology strategists. Their individual profiles do not have a hyperlink to the LinkedIn pages, but Parallel Chain itself does have a LinkedIn. The roadmap runs till the end of this year and currently they are in the testnet phase. They have divided the roadmap into two parts. The first one being the enterprise roadmap and the second one being the mainnet one. The wallet and voice recognition are in development and in the third quarter of this year, they will activate their mainnet node and in the final quarter, they will launch their mainnet and open delegation. So all in all, it's a very busy schedule and year for the team at Parallel Chain. A link to the roadmap as well as their team can be found in the description down below. That way you can do some research yourself and investigate the team roadmap. And that's it for this video. Are you interested in Parallel Chain? Let us know in the comment section down below. For now, my name is Rick Richard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!